cancelled. Sweezy. <laughs> Uh, this is from Tech Story. Lonely Ape, the NFT dating service, canceled due to a lack of women. Assume you've made it into crypto. Whenever that implies, you tweet GM to your numerous NFT followers on Twitter every morning uh, where your profile picture is a $200,000 chimp in a cowboy hat. Because you can, you quit pursuing legal action against someone who snapped a screenshot of your chimp while preparing coffee. Then you settle down for a long day of gazing at diagrams and praying that the trillion dollar crypto crisis doesn't take too much of a toll on your wallet. You get the impression that something is missing as the day passes. What's going on? You have a pregnant lady from Damien Hirst's certified lover boy cover, a piece of metaverse territory, and the Craftsmanship Foundation's rage. You know you don't have enough affection. This is just imaginary. I am sure many cryptocurrency investors and NFT collectors have fulfilling lives or lovely families. Someone set up a dating service for the many lonely, many lonely souls in NFT. In February, Lonely Ape Dating Club pledged to bring together similar Deggins. Okay. Uh, sign me up. You may think as a crypto dude who only experience with ladies has been world of women NFTs. Do you know how sometimes a crypto punk is required? Uh, your profile picture, a board ape yacht club em emblems, uh, serves as your entry ticket to the elite club. Unfortunately, the lonely ape dating club was shut down only a few months after it started. Is the token redeemable? It's, isn't that correct? Due to unexpected circumstances, the project has been postponed and definitely the website adds in a May 14 tweet, Y4K, a ragtag group of programmers and NFT gatherers, recounts the situation. We've chosen to postpone the BAYC dating application due to a lopsided ratio of males to women on our shortlist. The aggregate says many, many brothers. We appreciate your help. Uh, ha ha on a, ha, it says ha ha, no, I'm not just doing that. On a dating app that requires a board ape payment, guys, dwarf women, 10,000 board apes are insufficient to populate a dating app or crypto savvy in individuals. Despite the efforts of Grimes, Pussy Riot, and Yam Kakai, uh, the world of women artists, uh, the crypto sector remains mostly male. Just 16% of the NFT transactions were completed by women last year. Many women who own crypto spaces endure harassment and hatred, even with the bored Abe. They can, couldn't find love here. Uh, we don't know whether this was a hoax, a Twizzard had or this game, a a la Elon Musk, or if Y4K was savaging from the start because there are so many despondent ape gatherers, I assume it was fraud. Okay. It is funny. You know, like you think about it, it's like, we, we couldn't create the, uh, the NFT dating site because not enough women. We were like, it was just all men. There was no women. Uh, it was all men on this fucking site. And so it's like, I mean, that's the thing with the dating site. You have to have men and women, uh, to make it a successful thing. And, uh, one thing that I've learned from being on these dating apps is that, uh, both parties have to participate. If only one party is participating and it, uh, it's not going to work. That's just a fact. And so, as we as we move on, um, the thing I've I'm not really thought too much. I think crypto could have some uh, some money worth it someday. I haven't invested any. I know a lot of people I know who do. Um, but uh, with the NFT thing, because it's like the idea is like, well, there's the original Mona Lisa, but if you take a screenshot of, you only have a screenshot. You don't own the actual Mona Lisa. And to that, I say it, it's a lot like. Because I'm a musician, so I obviously know how music sales kind of work. Where it's like, uh, do you, if you buy an MP3, do you really own the music? Still technically no. Uh, but like when you buy a vinyl record or a CD or a cassette of the music, um, you don't necessarily own the rights to the music, but you you actually own a physical, tangible thing. And, and that's the thing I think we all forget about is that uh, everything has to reduce to a real, tangible object uh, for it to be real. Um, I'm not saying anything bad about people who want to make digital sales on music, but at the same time, and streaming and stuff like that, I'm just saying that at the end of the day, if you to, for it to be, like, yours, there's kind of has to be a physical thing. It can't be, I don't know, digital art and stuff like that. I mean, I, if, if hopefully you get what I'm trying to say here. Uh, I'm not trying to, like, discourage anyone who, or offend anyone, but, like, that's kind of how it is, and so, I don't know. Uh, yeah, and NFT kind of seems like those uh, asshole business majors you went to college with, and you're like, 
Jesus Christ, I don't want to hang out. This guy's going to probably go on some fucking spiel right now. I'm like, yeah, man, I'm a, I'm a music. I, I do music. It's cool, cool story. Uh, there's a lot of cool stories with you, buddy. <laughs> like, yeah, you, we all know those assholes. Uh, anyways, though, don't buy NFTs, folks. I thought I'm on Schweig FTs or whatever. Airbud meant an NFT, and I'm really upset about that. And do not get me started on the Airbud NFT. Uh, okay. Hey, you just finished one of the many, many highlights from Cancel Sweezy. We got plenty more on the channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you like what you just watched, go ahead and uh, smash that like button as well. Go subscribe for more so uh, we can teach you how to be a better human in our world. So, uh, yeah, stay awesome.